Hey guys, one great way to boost sales on Etsy and improve your conversion rate for each listing is including some sort of video within your listing. Now, to somebody like me and you, we deal with print on demand every day. We really might not think of it as a big deal. Let's keep it honest, right? We're probably looking at 100, 200 different products a day, maybe even thousands of products a day, whether it be on places like Redbubble, Etsy, Zazzle. And, you know, sometimes we get it. We get the point. We know how the products look. We get an idea. But the truth is, is that customers who visit our stores on Etsy don't always have full belief in the product. Sometimes a video could be the very reason why you get the conversion over someone else. And to be clear, guys, every single person here watching this, every person listening wants to have a higher conversion rate and wants to achieve the highest conversion rate possible. What is a conversion rate? It's very simple. Imagine 100 people visit your Etsy product. Let's say this is it. And five people purchase. That's a 5% conversion rate. Now, the more the merrier, the more people that visit and convert, the better. It can't get any worse than that, right? And it can only get good. I want to show you this example of this product. Here we have some pretty basic mock-up images. And you can actually tell because of the style of these images, you can tell that they are absolutely mock-ups. But if we click here, right, on this, we have a video. Let's go ahead and click on this and... This is one of the best-selling mugs on Etsy, and you can see the video is automatically playing. Now, the video is a mock-up style video, but I'm going to show you how to create videos just like this one today. Look at it. It's a very basic video, and I bet you this seller has other mugs for sale. Let's actually click on this seller. has other mugs for sale with the exact same uh, mock-ups and the same videos and things like that. So... I do want to go through their kind of their stuff here and just take a look and you can see it's a mock-up the same background image here probably will have a similar video here as well so guys videos are important and once again they could potentially be the thing that separates you from the competition I think that I'm going to spend more time going back into some of my other listings and try to get some more video content of them. So I'm gonna show you how to get create some good video content for your designs, for your images, for your uploads on Etsy, and uh, hopefully will help benefit you guys. So let's just use an example here. I'm gonna take this image, okay, and I'm gonna hit download here on Canva. By the way, this is just an image I found in the elements section within Canva. I'm gonna also gonna download this too. So let's, let's download these last two. In fact, I actually already downloaded them here in this zip file. Let me go ahead and open it up. And we got these two images. I'm going to skip on this one. This one really doesn't matter, but I'll focus on these two. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Placeit's video mock-up generator. Now, let me go back here and, and show you what I'm talking about. I did some research all you have to do is go to place it. I'll leave a link in the description if you haven't checked this out already. And I'm going to kind of show you, I'm going to give you some of my pointers, my tips to get the most out of this, the best benefit out of this. When you come to place it, <clears throat> at least I hope when you come to place it, you're going to see this here. Okay, 3D video mockups. You do not want to go over here to videos and then hit search. That won't work. Go to this one. This one's a little bit different because we're specifically looking for 3D product mockups. Now, this is going to be helpful because if you look here on the left-hand side, there's a lot of different products that you could currently utilize for these 3D video mockups. You have coffee mugs, boxes, books, hoodies, hats, um, YouTube. Let's click on YouTube. Let's see what kind of filter this is. All right, so clearly this is the YouTube um, thumbnail size, which is pretty cool. This is for the mug design. Pretty cool as well. Okay, so if you look at this mug design right there, let's go ahead and actually give this a shot. Let's click on this. Okay, now it is using a YouTube. Um, let me go ahead and refresh this page. I don't know why this glitched out for a second, but um, uh, it is using the YouTube size. So you know how YouTube has the, the video size is horizontal. It's like a, what is it, 16 by 9 or something like that. So yeah, more horizontal than it is vertical. Perfect for a YouTube video, but you can also fit this on an Etsy listing. 
So first off, right, if we hit play, I want my mug to be, let's say, all black because that's what my print-on-demand manufacturer is going to be. So I'm going to go over here, change it to black, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to read what other options I have. So it says here interior color. I'm assuming it's the interior color of the mug. So let's actually select black as well. Let's see if that changes anything. All right. And let's give it a second here. There we go. Perfect. So the interior color changes the handle color and the inside rim of the cup. Perfect. And I actually like this style, how it's a sip in style mug design. This is perfect, to be honest. It's catchy. It looks good. And frankly, a lot of people on Etsy are not currently doing this. So this is good where it sits. I'm going to go over here and hit insert image. And I'm going to go over to um, the... Uh, uh, sorry, upload from device. My brain froze there. Um, but I'll select this lucky image, okay? Now, what this is, is this is going to fit right on the canvas of the mug itself. So I'm just going to fit it kind of nicely here. And don't worry, I could always go back and fix it if I'm not happy with the way it looks. So let's just kind of leave it at that and hit crop, all right? And let's just go ahead and wait for it to crop. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to add it to the video. Now, notice, by the way, the colors of my uh, my design here. I didn't create it once again. It was in Canva Elements. But my design is like this green color. I can actually change some stuff going on here within my video to make that happen. So I could select like a green that's kind of related in terms of the colors to different elements in the videos. So this checkered box color here, I can change that to, let's say, this color green. And I could switch it up. You know, I don't have to stick to it or whatever kind of color that, I'm, that I select. I can switch it up. This blue in the background, let's just say I leave it. And let's just say I pick this neon green here. Or actually, let's pick the same green. Let's pick the same green we once did uh, for the second colored text. And let's give it a second. And we could do something like this. And then what we're going to do is hit play all slides. And so what it will do is it will cue you, right, for your video clip. And, you know, your video clip is going to be all the different elements in this video that you've seen. The only difference is we change the color of the mug. We've also added our own image, right, which happens to be the image that we're ideally going to sell for the product that we have. And then what we're going to do is see how the video looks. If we like it, we can approve of it. If we don't like it, we can make a small change, go back to the drawing board, hit play once again, and then it will reformat. Now, once we hit play and we watch it, if we're happy, we can download. You can't download without hitting the play button, okay? They force you to watch all the slides, basically the whole thing, before you can download. So, you know, it is what it is. So. We're going to give it a minute or two to go ahead and process. And while it's processing, I just want to go ahead and say, guys, for my little Etsy style of, of, of posting products on Etsy, I like to do the niche research first before I create the product. One of the biggest mistakes I see most people make, hold on, let me pause this. One of the biggest mistakes I see most people make when it comes down to Etsy is just selling products that they like, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it might not necessarily be the right niche or the right competition level or even have the right search demand for you to be into it, if that makes sense. So anyways, let's just go ahead and hit play here. Let's watch the video. Okay. Looks pretty good. All right, awesome. So if this is how the mug is going to look like, it might just give us a small little edge over the competition, okay? We'll just go ahead and hit download, and then finally we'll have a downloadable of the actual mock-up, and then we can apply that to our listing on Etsy. I can definitely see a lot of Etsy stores uh, put this into consideration, put this into practice, not even just with mugs in general, but with other products like you know, so many different options. And I could see it working with merch. I could see it working with books, with mugs. I mean, you name it, you know, it can work. And clearly, um, the the place it system is growing 
with speed. They're creating more and more products because they're utilizing AI to create better, I guess you could say, scenarios for us users. So it's pretty good. Guys, if you didn't know, place it, right, this this website, they do have free mockups as well as paid. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm on the paid plan, of course, because um, <clears throat> I do use it all the time. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm on the unlimited plan. I use it all the time. Uh, but, you know, for you guys, if you're testing it and you just want to get your feet wet, go ahead and use the free version. I'll leave a link in the description. All you have to do is sign up and you get access to it without paying. Um, so, yeah, give it a shot. But let's go ahead and we just downloaded the video. I do want to see it in its full glory here with the with the um, uh, higher quality content. There we go. All right. And you can see here it's a sip and style. Then it shows the mug here. And by the way, I am making it go in slow motion. Mug design. Boom. There we go. I wouldn't really write the word mug design. I would say like lucky or something like that. Feeling lucky. I would have some little catchy, catchy phrase, but but I think that works really well. So overall, I would rate this just, I would say it's an extra benefit for your business. Um, you could even pair it with some of these type images. And a little side note, mugs are one of the easiest things that you can kind of create mock-ups for because let's face it, all mugs pretty much look the same. Um, maybe even if they're a little bit different, it's fine, but they all look pretty similar. Uh, but the most important thing is how the design fits on the mug. That's the most important thing, you know. So if I was to go over here, hit upload from device, select this logo, right? I have to make sure that the logo is presented properly in the same way that it reflects on the actual product from the mock uh, from the uh, print on demand manufacturing company. But to be 100% honest, most, not all, not all, but most print on demand manufacturing companies have really bad mock-ups and they're just overused. Pretty much everybody's seen them. So I always try to go for something a little bit different and get the most out of whatever I can use in a software. So I figured I'd make this tutorial, show you guys how to use them. I do want to put in a short clip real quick. I'll take you guys there right now. I wanted to take you guys here into the Shopify store that we're building. We have a series that we're that's going on and we have a videos of different products mock-up videos uh, that we've previously used and we are let me see here this is the this is how the website is looking so far and I know we actually utilized some video mock-ups like I said so I don't know exactly which product it was but I know we definitely use them let me go ahead and click through here a few times and take a look yep this one this cheetah uh, has this cheetah poster. You could see here, this is a video mock-up once again. So I had to kind of lower the volume there just for my ears. But you get the point. This is a video mock-up. Looks a little bit real, honestly, compared to you know what we're used to. So I made a few changes, obviously, to the store, as you guys can see. And I'm utilizing the power of the video mock-ups before we start running ads on this thing. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you guys want to see any of these videos or playlists, message me in the comments. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave some some links in the description box for you guys to check out some more clips. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Peace out. Bye.